Good day, family. Today I'm going to talk about what a true friend is. And I think what makes this question difficult is everyone wants something different from their friends. So, you know, there's the golden rule that people talk about is treat uh, others as the, you want to be treated. Well, to be honest, not everyone wants to be treated the same. And that puts a little issue in that golden rule, doesn't it? Because I treat the people in my life how I want to be treated. And how I want to be treated is I want them to hurt me with the truth rather than, rather than comfort me with lies. What I give the world is truth and assertion so there's no passive aggressive. I give the world transparency and that's what I want back from people. However, a lot of people just want warmth. They just want to be held by the mother. You know, the mother's love is, is there. They love you for what you are. The father loves you for what you could be. And that's how I want people, friends in my life, is to, is to push me to what I can be and love me for what I can be and push me to that. And tell me when I'm missing the mark and having good reasons to tell me that. Because that's how I get better. I want friends that make me strong, not friends that try to make me safe. And that's when I realized is I have been failing as a friend to all these people. I've been living to, uh, as I want friends to be to me, but none of them wanted that. People don't want to hear truth. People just want to live. People want the mother's love. They want to just always be in utopia. And that's why I, I'm sorry to all the people that I... I have been trying to befriend by being who the friend that I would want you to be. However, now that I know this, I'm going to know faster when I'm in a relationship that in us trying to negotiate what's best for each other, I'm being too truthful, which is hurting the other person. And the other person's telling me to stop being the way I am, which is hurting me. And yes, we do have to negotiate. We do have to balance what we think the world should be like with, with the world. However, I speak what I speak. And I put it out there humbly, in, just like in every one of these videos. To call me out if you feel that I'm wrong. I am searching for the higher truth. And I meditate and I pray to God to ask him, am I missing the mark in these situations? And always I get the message back, I could always say things better. And that's the message I get, however, what I'm saying is what he wants me to say. Proverbs 18.24 says, A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. The people in my life that had me as a friend, deep down in their hearts, know that I am that kind of friend. I see now why I really haven't had any true friends besides Melanie in my adult life. Besides Melanie, I've never found anyone that loves me for who I am and would die for me for who I am or would stick closer than a brother. I believe the Bible's golden rule is a lot stronger. And it says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And love, like I said, there's the Father's love that loves you for what you can be. And it's always telling you the truth because they know you should know the truth. And there's the mother that'll hold you and cuddle you and as you are always. Those are two forms of love. And that's why that's a stronger golden rule to me. Because then when people realize that love a person as you love yourself is also the father, then they'll realize who are true friends and who are just decorative friends.
Proverbs 27, 5 to 6. Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. It's hard for me to tell who is real until we can sit and have a real conversation about stuff that are, is not com comfortable to have. I know a lot of people that are all smiles and that's all I've ever seen from them and that's all they ever show the world. And I used to buy into that smile. However, I know a lot of those smiles are actually teeth ready to bite because they aren't both polarities of themselves. And there's a lot of people I might be getting wrong. However, I'll trust them when I see their other side. I will trust them when they stop just kissing me forever because those kisses, like I said, just like it says here, profuse are the kisses of an enemy. How do I know who are my true friends? Are the ones that know about their rascal. They know about their dark side. They want to speak truth. They want to know about everything. They do not want to be ignorant. They want to be knowledgeable because that's what sets them free. How many people do you know in your life that are all smiles? So I've failed as being the friend that these people wanted. However, in my eyes and in the eyes of God, I've been the friend that they've needed. And I will continue to be that figure. This is my oath, is to speak what comes to my mind. And what the truth is and what assertion is, is the threshing floor that separates the wheat from the tares. And everybody is everybody's friend until things get dark. And if you see what just happened in the world, this has been the threshing floor. We are in the threshing floor right now and all the tears are being exposed. I guarantee in many of your lives you've seen people with, that are all smiles turn to teeth of fury that are ready to bite. And those are people that we needed to know are who they are. And we don't judge them completely upon, but we have to know that when things get hard, that's when we can understand the fruits of a person. When time comes where they can't smile anymore and they start to bite, that's the measure of that person is in the fires, that's what they did. Everyone's got a dragon, and when they don't admit it, that means that dragon has control of them whenever emotions arise. And that is far from a trustworthy friend or person. And this is why I'll always be the friend that I want the world to be for me, whether the world wants it or not. Those who accept me for what I am, those are my true friends. Those who allow me to speak how I speak, those who even encourage me, those are my true friends. Those who will stand with me because they trust in me, those are my true friends. When you see my smile, you know the difference. I show my teeth only when absolutely necessary. I speak my truth to the world all the time. I am every emotion I show to the world. As soon as I have to start putting on masks, I know I am not living the truth that the God wants me to live. In the times I do put on a mask, I will repent. I'm going to say this statement from the Bible one more time because it's so powerful. Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Thank you all for joining me. I love you all very much. And hang in there. 
we are winning this war. I encourage you all to be the friend that you know you need to be for your people. And I am, I'll stand beside you because it's not an easy road. You're going to have many people run because they don't think you're being a good friend by speaking these truths. But I encourage you, stay to that voice. Stay to the truth that comes from your heart. Make your friends strong. Don't try to make them safe. We're never safe. So let's try to make ourselves ready for the battle rather than telling people there's no battle that'll ever come. That's how you fortify your friends. Have a lovely day and take care.